Hi guys, it's, this is Jeremy Bailey from TheEnvironmentGuy.com So, it's been a while since we've had an update on the website and I thought I would start doing my video blogs finally, after all this time I've wanted to do it for a while and here it is I apologize for me not looking towards the lens of the camera all the time I'm holding a cell phone right now I got a job just to almost a month ago and it's the first job I've had in quite a while so I have some items on my art supply list that I need to purchase and one of them being putting the cell phone onto a tripod but anyways just some things to talk about today I had my graduation ceremony for VCAD so that's the Vancouver Visual College of Art and Design and and say I wasn't planning on going to it originally, but my family wanted to. It's it didn't really have what I was hoping it would have. Like there were no my instructors weren't there. Uh, a lot of the people that I went to went through school with weren't there either. There are just a couple of people I recognized. But here I am. I got past the graduation. Uh, I've grad stuff around here somewhere. There it is. There's a hat. There's my hat, but uh, what's what's been going on? Well, since last time I updated the website, I was doing written blogs, and I have to say, I really don't like doing written blogs. <laughs> I, something about writing just doesn't really work for me. You know, I'm an artist, I do pictures, and... Text just doesn't quite cut it. So, since then, I, for quite a while, after I completed my course at VCAD, I had sort of this time where things didn't feel like they were going very well. I, I was by myself. I did not have money or a job. I, you know, lived in a basement, didn't see much sunlight, and... It just wasn't a great atmosphere for doing artwork like an artist needs, or anyone. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're an artist or not, you need to have a good environment. But since then, a number of months have passed, and now I'm living with another artist. Her name is Teresa. She's much older than me. Or it's, you know, she, she's related to the family. It's not like my girlfriend or anything, but she does acrylic paintings. No, she she does fine art as a painter, and no, so we we look for a studio. We kind of have a studio going on right now. We're living or we're living in an apartment building, and we've been here for a month, and we're probably going to move out soon. So this location isn't here to stay, but I can show you some stuff. We have. She likes to do her artwork outside, so there's large acrylic canvas painting right there kinda cool she has some other paintings maybe if I walk around here we can find them sorry this place is a mess there's one kinda cool I know there's stuff in the way Oop! dropped a sketchbook uh, I guess you're not really going to see it that well, but we have paints, art, art stuff around here. We do art. It's great. It's fantastic having another artist around and doing work together. So enough about that. I recently started to say, I'm going to say, get serious about artwork. It's, as I said, I had that long time where things were just going very difficult. And it, it was hard to, you know, just the motivation to get up, but now I'm attending, I'm doing artwork regularly, and I'm attending an online school. You may have heard of it, it's called conceptart.org. They have the Level Up program that focuses on digital painting and concept design. So that's really cool. One thing I noticed through my graduation, especially in the last year, when I was doing my demo reel, so I was a very technology-focused person. You know, 
I love technology. I know all the tools and honestly I'm kind of a geek that way. But through everyone who graduated, the people who focused more on art and less in technology really did better than anyone else. That's what I felt anyways. They had great portfolios, well, maybe not great in mean, their students, but they were better. And I was very disappointed with my portfolio. In fact, I can get up and sort of show you some of it. Right there, portfolio. This is what I, so this is the actual portfolio that I had at our public displays at the end of the course. So there's the spine that actually has my name on it somewhere. Oh, there it is. So it's upside down on the camera. Oops. Oh, okay. Apparently it's not going to work on the camera, but. Oh, I was. Never mind. I'm just being silly. I, I loaded these papers backwards. Okay, opening it up, we have Jeremy Bailey, Environment Design. Wow, that's completely not working on the camera, is it? But anyways, throughout my portfolio, see we have all kinds of pictures. That's uh, some concept that I did partially in 3D and partially in 2D. That was, I guess, a year ago. Yeah, that was, that was a while. And here are pictures of the actual demo reel, so these are stills from my video, and I really don't like these. I mean, they're starting to show some composition, you know, some use of light, like this, um, but they just don't hit it for me. This, I don't like that image at all. It looked good in 3D, but on the renders, it didn't turn out right. So. I need to redo that, working working on sculpting and doing more environments, but I realized that because the art students were the ones who really did the great job, it wasn't the 3D that I needed to focus on, but instead the 2D, doing the painting, the sketching, the concept work. So as I said, doing that online course, and I love it. So to show you some stuff that I've been doing, you can check out this screen right here. I'm hoping you can see that well. But these are all, what these are, these are called master studies. And how it works is that we were supposed to find images through art history of things that we liked and would like to you know, have properties of those images show up in our own work. And we had to duplicate them as thumbnail sketches. So I spent 30 minutes on each of these, and these aren't all of them. Uh, in total, I have 35 of these to do. I haven't completed them all yet, but I expect in about a week and a half, I do work on these for a couple hours every day, that I should have this completed and on the concept art forums, and possibly or on my website as well. Check that. There you go. I do apologize for this camera. As I said, I will fix this in the future, but it has to do for now. So, a lot of time being spent on that. So, moving forward, I actually have a list here of things I'm trying to talk about. Uh, yeah, sketchbooks. That's, let's show you my most recent sketchbook. I actually have a number of sketchbooks, but this is right there so because I have a job I'm working in the as a skilled trades worker with painting and it's a very physically demanding job and I spend a lot of my time traveling on the bus to get to and from work and like that's two hours of my day right there and I really needed to find something to do with that time and so I started carrying a sketchbook around with me regularly, and I mean, I, these sketches aren't very good. I find that to make a good sketch, I usually have to spend at least half an hour as a warm-up, and because that my time is fragmented traveling around, I don't get that warm-up when I draw these. But lots of these, like this is a life drawing from a client's, from the street view of a client's place I went to, 
No, this was some statue. Not very good rendering, but there it is. Uh, I also have some different kinds of sketches, like life sketches. I was just drawing my hand. This is a life sketch. And I also have some that are just idea-based. For example, drawings from my head, like this one, like that one, and a few other tiny ones. And also, more of the like master studies kind of. Like this was a painting done by someone else, which I was trying to copy. This is an original work on the bottom here. This was a cool drawing. I'll have to look look through the book. I got this from an art book. Sorry about the cut there. Um, my phone just ran out of memory and I got a phone call talking about getting a new studio location. So back to the sketchbook. I mentioned this. This is, as I've said before, a picture that I found out of an art book that I really liked. And so I tried to draw it. And I think it turned out all right. Some other ones, this was not a very good sketch of mine of a perspective drawing done by Leonardo da Vinci. I changed it a little bit, put a crowd of people in there. No, it's not quite the same as the original, but there you go. There's a copy of a life drawing sketch. As I know. I, I like life drawing. For, for a really long time, I didn't like life drawing. It took me about seven months of doing life drawing every week for about four hours before I really started to get into it. But anyways, I was going to show you, you people, the art books that I have available. Um, here's art books, art books, more art books. Yes, lots of art books, plenty of resources when it comes to art books, lots of stuff to work with. Now, the other thing to show you is this. Ta-da! That's my sort of calendar thingy. So basically, uh, 12 days ago, or maybe it was 11, yes, 11 days ago, I decided to start keeping track of my sketching that I do. Because I want to do work every day, you know. I want to do the painting, I want to do the sketching, and, you know, eventually I'm going to start adding in more of the 3D stuff as well, the sculpting, doing the 3D environment designs and texturing. But for now, just focusing on fundamental art skills with the painting. And sorry that I'm walking around. I just, I like to walk around <laughs> when I work. But uh, for every day in a row that I successfully do my job, I put an X through one of those squares. And today, I haven't filled my X in yet, but that is the 11th day in a row, being today, that I would have done sketching every day. So, that's a pretty big accomplishment. I'm, I'm very happy to have done that. And there is, I think, 100, 112 squares on there. I'm not certain of the exact number, but I know it's over 100. And... My goal is to fill up that entire sheet with X's with no breaks in it. So, you know, if you've ever heard of the 100 day challenge, this is like the 112 day challenge. My, I'm really looking towards creating a habit out of this. You know, habits are good to have. I think we need to, you know, as, as someone who is striving to accomplish more in life that you have to create those good habits and do the work because it really comes down to doing work. It doesn't matter how much time you spend each day. It doesn't matter, you know, if what you did was good or bad. It's really just about sitting down and doing the work all the time. And I think that is going to make a great artist out of just about anyone. I mean, I mean, really creativity can be learned. Drawing can be learned. I'm the, I'm a prime example of learning from nothing. So, what else do I have to talk about? I did the books, the college, uh, supplies. I said I was getting a tripod to put, or sorry, no, I already have the tripod. See, the tripod is right there. That's, that's my tripod and my camera. I'd like to 
get a newer camera. That's a 450D, the, a Canon, Canon 450D. It doesn't take video, unfortunately. It's just photos, but it's not really on the top of my priority list right now. But getting the cell phone onto that tripod so I'm not walking around like this in a video making everyone dizzy looking at the stuff behind me. But I need to get a, a few more sketchbooks. I mean, as you see, this one doesn't have sketches. I do like to take notes. I make plans, plans for what I do in the days, plans for finances, whatever. So I need one of these for my finances. I need to get another sketchbook specifically for the conceptart.org level up program that I'm doing. Actually, I don't believe I showed you this yet. But on the floor, I have my notes from for the first assignment that I'm doing. I actually have like, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, and I think I have another one in my bedroom. So I have five um, printer paper. Sorry, I, for some reason, the, the name of it just passed, passed through my head, but uh, I have five of those 18 by I don't know, I was going to say 22. That doesn't quite sound right to me, but I have a bunch of those pads. They're large sheets of paper often used for doing live life drawing lessons, and they're just sitting around. So I've been using those. I like to tape those sort of papers onto the wall, like right there, to just to write stuff down. I love writing on the wall. I never really have done that in the past simply because I didn't have the resources to be writing on the wall, but now that I can afford paper, I'm putting stuff on the wall. I actually want to buy a large roll of newsprint so I can put that up on the wall and just have a wall that I can scribble on. And also at some point in time, get like a mixed media sheet or watercolor to use Copics on. I, I really been wanting to do this for a long time and I think I'm finally going to do it soon. Maybe maybe still a few weeks away, but getting a set of gray Copic markers so that I can do my environment sketches and put in the value using those markers. I, I think it would be a lot of fun myself. And I think it would look great having, you know, a whole wall, all this stuff being covered with, you know, all these little grayscale sketches of environments. Be pretty cool, I mean. Come on, it's supposed to be an artist studio. That's put art everywhere. So, anyways, uh, I believe that's all I had. Take one more check at my list. Yep, did that, did that, yep, did that. Yeah, so that's it. That is the first video log on for the environment guy at theenvironmentguy.com and my email which is theenvironmentguy at gmail.com. Have a good day.